Hey guys, it's Brie and it's Halloween. Can you tell? I'm so excited. It's my very favorite holiday. Well, Halloween and Mardi Gras because you can dress up and, you know, do whatever you want and nobody judges you for it. And most of you may know, or some of you may know, and some may not have a clue, but it is the 10th anniversary of the Broadway musical Wicked. So this year was especially important to me because Wicked is one of my favorite musicals ever. So I wanted to dress up as Elphaba. I have the hat, but the brim is so big that it sort of, three, two, one, sort of shadows my face. So I am going hatless for this video and I'm going to do my hands after I film this because I want to eat. I have to go to school in like 30 minutes so I was like I'm going to film a quick video and eat a quick lunch and then get on my broom and fly to school. So quick October favorites, most of them have to do with Wicked because I am obsessed. If you guys watch my New York video. When I went to see the show, y'all know I'm obsessed. But this year, Deborah Lipman came out with Wicked Nail Polish. I have it on right now, and I'm going to cover it in my green. But it has a pink color for Galinda, and it has an Elphaba kind of green color, and a sparkle that goes on top of it. It's fabulous. I would never in a million years pay this much money for nail polish, but it's Wicked, and I can't resist anything Wicked. Just cannot. Um, I sort of wanted to go over what's on my face. I use the Max Chroma Cake in Landscape Green. I have watched every tutorial there was on Elphaba for this costume idea and for the professional play this is what they use. I hate it. I hate it so much but I wanted to put it in my favorites because this is the result you get and I feel like I don't, I don't know how to use it. I've tried it with a brush, I've tried it with a sponge, everything. And you swipe it one way and it goes on really pretty. And you swipe it another and it comes off. But I like the color so much, so I'm including it. But maybe I don't know how to use it. I don't know. And I saw that they used on the Elphaba on Broadway this MAC pigment called Golden Olive. So I'm using that on my lids right now. I really, really like it. I'm going to use this in my regular life. Maybe not so much this, but definitely this one. A new old favorite is the Erase Paste by Benefit. This is an incredible, amazing concealer, and it covers your zombie eyes. And I've also discovered that if you're green, it covers your zombie eyes, too, because be you can kind of look zombie-ish. I don't know. But the Erase Paste is fabulous, and you should definitely invest in it if you want to conceal things. And also, Bare Minerals has a green color called Wicked. How perfect is that? How perfect is it? And it's this color. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because these pigments get everywhere and they make such a mess. I use my Urban Decay Wizard of Oz, Oz the Great and Powerful palette. And I don't like any of the browns in this, but I definitely use the green and the white on me. And this has been one of my favorite palettes I've ever, ever bought. Totally worth the money. Even though I don't love the browns, I feel like... These Urban Decay Browns, you can get the same sort of thing in the Naked palettes. And I have to say, since this is the month of October, I have utilized this costume. I've worn it like six times. Every event I could think of that was costume appropriate, or maybe not costume appropriate, I wore this out because I spent, what, $200 on this costume, and I want to use it. And I want to use it for years after, but particularly on the 10th year anniversary of Wicked. And speaking of anniversaries, milestones, last night was the first Pelicans game for the NBA in New Orleans. I love basketball. I was a super Hornets fan, so I went to the Pelicans, and Nick got me this shirt. It's sparkly has a little pelican. I have to say I hate the mascot. It looks like some creepy Chucky doll chicken looking thing. His name is Pierre. That's a super cute name, but the mascot is so scary. Scarier than I am right now. 
that's how scary it is. Another eyeshadow that I've been loving this month is called March. It is from the Bare Minerals Christmas Collection bag that they do each Christmas, but they didn't do last year. It made me really mad they did like a Christmas tube, which is lame, and they better not do that again this year. But it's called March, and there's the color. It's just a pretty green. And I thought it appropriate... Ow, I have an itch in my ear. I thought this was appropriate because of March of the Witch Hunter song on Wicked. I don't know. I'm just too obsessed. And my big purchase for the month of October was a new hair dryer. This is the Super Solano. And um, I don't know how to talk about hair dryers without sounding dirty. But it blows so hard and so hot. Eh, yay. I don't know. It's so heavy, though. This little sucker is too big. See my little hands? And it's so big and so heavy, but it works really well, and it was so expensive. But I got 20% off, so I don't feel that bad about spending the money. But I really like it. I straightened my hair with it. Well, I had to straighten my hair to pen curl it to put it under a wig properly. So I have pretty straight hair underneath this. And you know my hair is super, super curly, so it's really hard to straighten. And that little sucker did it quite quickly. And I was thrilled with that. And I want to see pictures of your costumes. So please tag me in your Halloween photos on Instagram. I am Brie from New Orleans. And I can't see your photos if you're private. So unprivate and tag me in photos, or you can post them to my Facebook page, My Red Solara. And happy Halloween. Be safe, eat lots of candy, and have so much fun. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.